so welcome back guys the next question in this algorithm series is diagonal difference okay so this is an interesting question so here they are giving a 2d array not 2d array they are giving an yeah i think they are giving 2d array okay the first line contains a single integer rows and columns means we are getting 2d array and here we have to find the things means we have to find the difference of diagonal values okay this one five nine this is our first diagonal and this three five nine this is our second diagonal okay so we want to find the difference of the sums of diagonal okay the left diagonal sum is 15 using 159 and the right diagonal is 17 okay so first of all we we will see the logic what we have to do okay okay this is our example now there are the things like 159 okay these are the things there are <coughs> that doesn't matter to our explanation okay so this is our 2d array and we are iterating this 2d array using like uh, two loops for first loop we will use like i and for in inner loop we will use like j for iterating the things okay these are our i values suppose these are our i values and these are our j values okay so this is one is our value in the first thing okay so here for i is equal to j and j is equal to 0 I, I, for i is equal to 0 and j is equal to 0 we are getting the one value and for this five if you go here like we will have to iterate like 0 1 0 2 and we will find the that respective values now if you if we go further okay in the second iteration we will like get 1 0 then 1 1 and then 1 2 like that like that we will get the things okay so we will write only those things that we are needed okay so i will don't write the things okay so we want to find this diagonal that's why we, we will see the things okay so zero zero and this will like this is one one okay after iterating till here after iterating at one one means our i i is equal to one and j is equal to one we are getting the diagonal value and similarly when our i is 2 and j is, is also 2 then we are getting the diagonal value okay so now in this example we have like 1 5 9 these are our all diagonal values these first of all <coughs> suppose that these all are the iterating values okay as we iterate two loops means for loop for i 1 and for loop for j okay using this i and j we iterate the 2d array and we will find the things okay so now we have to take the conditions in that format now if you if you see the this is our first diagonal here if you see our values of i and j are similar similar okay now our i is 0 and j is 0 okay so first of all we have to write the condition for this diagonal this first diagonal here we will write like this i is equal to is equal to 0 if our i is equal to is equal to 0 then that is diagonal value and then we will add add that value into our one variable that we are going to use okay like like that okay a of i and a of ij this will get us the sum of this first diagonal okay this first diagonal using this condition what is our condition i is equal to is equal to j we will get the first diagonal now we will check for the second diagonal okay so first of all i will write this thing so we will write that first thing in our c program okay the logic is same you can use any of one language okay so here in the main function they have taken all the inputs through this file handling and this is our prototype of function okay so they have defined the function here we have to just write the code so here they are giving the rows count and count of columns okay 
and this is our 2d array okay so first of all we will find this first diagonal sum of the first diagonal so for that now i will take here loops okay so i will iterate the loop this is our first loop for int i is equal to 0 as we want to iterate the rows okay how many rows that there are so for that i will take here array of rows and i plus plus so now i wanted to iterate our columns so for that int int j is equal to 0 j is less than er of columns okay and j plus plus okay so using this looping we can access our values in the array okay so now we for as our first condition was like that if our i is equal to is equal to 0 then we have to take the sum of first diagonal okay so for that i will write here okay i will take this up i will write here not okay so this is now here if our i is equal to is equal to j then what we have to do we have to okay so now i will take here one variable okay int first okay this is our variable name first is equal to zero as we we can't start the things from integer so i will write here first first for the sum of first diagonal and second second for the sum of our second diagonal okay so now as here we are getting the sum of first diagonal here i will write first is equal to first plus what is our array name arr arr of i and j okay this will get this whole sum of our first diagonal this condition i is equal to is equal to j now we have to find the second condition for this diagonal okay so i will rough this part this first condition part okay so if you go like 0 0 0 1 here you will get like 0 and 2 okay 0 2 in the second iteration we will i am writing these things in smaller because we don't need this part okay so here we we will again need this one one as this is in our diagonal portion so here we didn't record this one two also we again require this two one okay these are all diagonal values that we wanted to find the sum of second diagonal we didn't require two two one okay so this is not two one this is two zero we didn't require two one and two two okay these parts we didn't require we just wanted these three parts okay so i will write again that th three parts okay so here we will get 0 2 and 1 1 and here 2 0 okay if you see that our i is 0 and our j is what is our j our j is 2 now if you see all the things like here i is equal to 0 and j is equal to 2 and here i is equal to 1 now here we also have to consider our n because the total number of columns will matter for us okay these are all total number of columns that will matter for us like if you see here our i is equal to is equal to n our n is now 3 n minus j okay n minus j minus 1 okay if you check this formula this condition for all the things you will get the things right okay now our i is 0 okay our n is 3 and our j is here if you see j is 2 minus 1 okay this will get you find the things 0 is equal to 0 so this this is the formula that we, we find after all the similarities okay 
even if you check for this condition here here our i is 2 and j is 0 now our i is 2 here our formula is n minus j minus 1 our n is 3 minus our j is 0 and minus 1 this one is mandatory so 2 is equal to 2 okay so this formula will help us to find this second diagonal okay so now we will write the now we will write this condition in the second part okay so here is our second part where is our second part we have to write okay so here we have to write else if okay not else if here we again write if part because we because when you see this one one this will come in both the diagonals this value will come in both diagonals that's why we are writing this if part okay now our i is equal to is equal to arr of columns okay arr of columns minus j minus 1 okay so this will get us the sum for the second second diagonal okay second yeah the spelling of second is same so i will write this capital as i have written the first capital so that's why second is equal to second plus arr of i and r of j okay so i will replace here this s with capital s and we as we are getting here the sum of first diagonal and the second value second diagonal now what we have to return we have to return the difference absolute difference between these two diagonals so here i will write abs this is this function returns the absolute difference between two values so i will write here first minus second okay so here we will run the code okay so i think the semicolon was missing so for what happens here for clause does not go on okay i think that was the semicolon missing error but why it was giving for that yeah that was the thing so in this format we can find the difference between the diagonals okay so thank you guys